from the perspective of the of, of Islamic State, Islamic State has been very clear about this in their in their propaganda magazine Dabiq, for example, in two thousand and fourteen. They provide quite a lot of detail for what they believe to be religious justification for the uh, for the enslavement of, of the Yazidis. Uh, the Yazidis are, are categorized as, as mushrikin, uh, meaning roughly poly, poly, polytheists, uh, as opposed to uh, people of the book, as opposed to Jews and Christians, who, uh, according to uh, Islamic State's interpretation of Islam, uh, have the have the right to, to, to pay a tax, that, that is, the Jews and the Christians do. Uh, the Yazidis, being uh, polytheists, being mushrikin, uh, do not. Uh, and therefore, uh, according to this, again, rather rather detailed uh, explanation provided uh, in, in, in Islamic State's uh, English language propaganda magazine, uh, are therefore categorized as, as kind of a lesser uh, group of people uh, who, who therefore can be, can be sexually enslaved. Uh, in, in that article, there's kind of an additional justification uh, being given for their ensla- their sexual enslavement as well. They harken back to this again, this categorization of being uh, because they're polytheists. This sort of a idea of, a, a, of the apocalypse of end times is very much part of Islamic State's uh, theology or conception of theology as well. Uh, and they cite this uh, this belief that the the coming the coming of the hour. Uh, the, the, the end times uh, will be prefaced by uh, a slave giving birth to his master. So again, you can see this this being linked to the idea of uh, uh, of sexually enslaved Yazidis giving birth to uh, to jihadists. The two combine in uh, in Islamic State's uh, philosophy and propaganda.